I am Anil Kumar and now we will explore the extended product rule on derivatives. The question here is, determine the derivative of the following functions. First one is, f of x equals to x times 2x minus 3 whole square times x plus 1 whole cube. The second function is, h of x equals to half of x times x square minus 3 times x minus 1 whole square. I will do one of the questions and the other one is for you to practice. So let us find how to find, let us understand how to find derivative when product involves three factors. Formula is exactly the same, procedure is same. So it is derivative of the first times all others plus derivative of second times rest of them plus derivative of third times the previous two. So that is how it works. So in this case we can say it is derivative of x times the other two. So let me write down the other two first, which is 2x minus 3 whole square times x plus 1 whole cube times derivative of x, right? So this is my first term. The second will be, this time I will multiply first and the third term, which is x times x plus 1 whole cube and find derivative of the second term, which is 2x minus 3 whole square and now we'll multiply the this the first and the second which is x times 2x minus 3 whole square times derivative of the third term right so that is how the product rule formula can be extended right so you can have any number of factors so what we have here is 2x minus 3 whole square times x plus 1 whole cube derivative of x d dx is 1. So it's just 1, right? So let me write 1, okay? Here the derivative is 2. So I'll write x times x plus 1 whole cube. The derivative is 2 times 2x minus 3 to the power of 1 times the derivative of inside function over just 2. Plus here we have x times 2x minus 3 whole square times derivative d dx of this which is 3 times x plus 1 whole square times 1 derivative of x correct so that is the expression which you get which can be simplified so at present I'm not simplifying it completely but just writing uh, extended version of you know less simplified one so this could be 2 times 2 is 4 x x plus 1 whole cube times 2x minus 3 plus 3 times 1 this is 3 only right so we have x times 2x minus 3 whole square times x plus 1 whole square so that is the solution for the time being you can always you know uh, simplify it a bit further but that is good enough but the important question here is I hope you have understood the process now you find what is the derivative of the second function, right? Apply the same rule. So that is derivative of the first function times the other two plus derivative of the second function times the other two plus derivative of the third function times the other two. So when you add them up, you get the derivative of the function. So that is how you should be doing it. I hope that helps. Thank you.